So before this video gets started, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the Dang Sun t-shirts, but we finally restocked them in a brand new color. And as you can tell, you got the Super Fire logo on the front pocket, and you got the Dang Sun in two tones on the back. These suckers usually go pretty dang quick, so if you guys want to help support your boys, be sure to visit GunSquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the Super. So we're definitely going to have to paint the whole entire car in here because... What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to continue working on our 2020 Toyota Supra. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally got in a bunch of parts from the dealership and we did a little bit of framework with the forklift, which allowed us to actually piece together this whole entire front end. So we finally got that radiator support completely aligned. And also we even got our cooling system fixed. We had a little gouge in that radiator and now we got the sucker up to temperature and it runs perfectly. And also as far as all the body panels go, we threw on the hood, the bumper, and even that fender and even the headlights and everything is looking pretty dang good. It is not 100%, but for the most part, this sucker is coming together. We did order a bunch of parts yesterday at the dealership, like some bumper brackets and a few other little things here and there. But while we wait, we're actually gonna start prepping this sucker for some paint and we do got a good bit of paint prep to do. As you can tell, there's a big old hood here and we gotta paint the bottom of it as well. But before we do any type of paint prepping, what we wanna do is actually knock out the little bit of bodywork that we do have. We have some sort of gouge in the store right here and this is aluminum, so this may be a little bit difficult, but I think we can figure it out. So let's just go ahead, grab some materials and hopefully get that sucker knocked out. All right guys, so check this out. So we finally got this little hole filled up and we actually used this shortcut stuff. This is some premium waterproof fiber reinforced filler. So it, this stuff has to be super tough. I mean, it's made for everything. You can repair concrete with this thing if you really wanted to, but most importantly, it says aluminum right there. So we're gonna get a few minutes to harden completely. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and do a layer of glazing putty and then it should be ready for some primer. All right, so we finally got this area fixed and sanded. We were just about to prime it, but we actually found out that we're out of primer and we're out of 320 grit sandpaper that we gotta use just to smooth it out right before we throw that primer. So we're gonna go ahead and probably run to the store and grab all that stuff. And while we're out there, I'm guessing we're gonna go ahead and actually grab all the paint for this thing, the top of the hood, the bottom of the hood, this whole entire huge front clip. So there is probably gonna be a good bit of paint that we actually gotta purchase. Dude, we're gonna probably paint more than like 60% of the car because the hood alone is bigger than the whole entire rear end, especially if we're painting the doors and all that good stuff. 
We're gonna need a good bit of it. For sure, that's a huge hood right there. But another issue that we kind of ran into is actually trying to find the paint code for this Supra. And we did a little bit of Googling and we actually found out that Supra only dropped a couple of colors, not much of them. And the only black that they dropped is called Nocturnal Black. So we figured out the code for it. So we are good to go now. So I guess let's just run to the store and grab everything that we need. All right, so we are finally back with all of our supplies. First off, we got three quarts of paint right here in Standox. This is probably one of our favorite paints, or is that your favorite paint? One of the best blending paints right exactly. there. Exactly, it's got tons of metallics in it, so I can't wait to see how that sprays. Also, we got a 320. We got some tape for when we get to that stage. And we got some new primer that we've never tried before. This is a sandable, ready to spray primer in a can, and we got the black stuff. That way, when we throw black paint, it's a lot. it gets better coverage. Also got some rags, some other sandpaper, but most importantly, we got some Griffin's foot long, foot long hot dogs. Foot right? long hot dogs, man. Dude. What do you got? What do you got let's, there, man? Let's just check one of these out right here. This is probably the best hot dogs in town. The right oldest here. hot dog place in Chattanooga, yeah, Tennessee. They are some old hot dogs. They may not look <laughs> old it. hot dog. <laughs> they may not look it, but these suckers are fire. So we're gonna go. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna go ahead and eat, and then we're gonna get straight to work. Mm -hmm. Dude, that is legit right there, man. man. I gotta say, man, this is some pretty neat stuff for a black car. You know, if you have a black car and you're doing some primer, dude, this is legit right here. Because it's gonna save you on paint. You don't have to sit there and just uh, like spray, spray it in, and yeah. shoot it in or whatever. Well, the first thing that I would do whenever I'm getting the paint is I'll spray the gray primer with the paint first. And that way it'll blend in. But now you barely even have to do that. Dude, the only thing is that I'm thinking about right now is actually what kind of guide code are we gonna use? Dude, that is crazy. Hey, we can just use the gray primer or just mist it on there. Just perfect. mist it on there and then you'll know exactly how yeah. much to sand. But the next thing that we're gonna move on to is what? This big old hood. We gotta go ahead and actually just pop this thing off, back off the car and actually put it on some stands. That way we can go ahead and scuff the whole entire hood down. And just pretty much get it ready for paint because as soon as we paint that sucker and we throw it on the car, dude, this thing, the whole car is basically ready for paint, right? Yep, all we gotta do is just trim out the bottom of the hood, trim out the fender, and then all that stuff goes back on there for good. And then we're gonna focus on the exterior, man. Dude, this is the fun stuff right here. So let's just go ahead and actually pop this hood back off the car and get sandy.
Alrighty guys, so check that out. We finally got the whole entire bottom of this massive hood completely sanded, along with the fender right there. All we hit was the edges. And what we used was a scuff pad, which allowed it to go pretty dang quick. So we're super happy about that. But what we're actually gonna do is hold off on these parts because we are in contact with the paint booth owner. And we haven't decided if we wanna paint here or over there. Obviously the paint booth is always better. It's gonna save us time. We don't have to wrap up the cards or anything else, do any type of taping. So we're gonna set that aside for a couple of hours. And what we're gonna do in the meantime is actually start prepping these doors for paint because we are gonna be blending onto them. So I believe what we're gonna do is actually take off this mirror, this handle, even this little plastic piece right here. Is Which is plastic? basically half of the door right there. Yeah, is that a sucker plastic? I think so. That's just like a fake vent right there. You know, there's a lot of fake vents on this Supra. And also, we are going to take apart, first off, probably the inner stuff Yeah, over so there. we're probably just going to completely gut this whole entire door. Yeah, and also, we got to pretty much gut the whole, not the whole entire interior, a lot of that interior, just to remove the airbags and also the seat belts. And yeah, all we got to ship those seat belts off as soon as possible as well. Get them in red, dude. Oh, dude, that would just be to pretty... Just that right hey, there. Hey, that would be sick, man. But anyways, let's just go ahead and grab some tools and just start tearing apart these doors. Alright, so we just popped off this door panel right here and we just received some good news, man. The paint booth is available and uh, I say we just go ahead and pause on this thing and jump on that because yeah. that's the number one thing right now. We definitely got to hit the road because it is kind of late in the afternoon and that's probably going to take maybe an hour or two. And yeah, hopefully we can just get right there and just spray that sucker in, but... Look at this thing. Look, look at the back of a super door panel right here. Is First that... off, I see a bunch of like holes in it. I get, I'm guessing it's for weight reduction or whatnot. Well, they made this like a one just this whole entire thing is plastic with just a little bit of like this fake leather i'm guessing just wrapped around it leather pleather yeah <laughs> whatever you call it but other than that dude it was actually pretty simple to pop it super off super simple i'm basically every door is the same concept you start with the door handle right and then you make yeah. sure there's no speakers and then unbolt the bolts from the bottom and you just unclip that sucker right hey, this thing just clipped right off so i guess we're gonna go ahead shut this super back up load up our hood and our fender inside the truck and just head to the paint booth All right, so we made it here to the paint booth. We already unloaded all of our supplies, got the hood and the fender set up, almost ready to go. You might've noticed me whipping the Trackhawk because I'm just gonna head home straight after this, after we paint everything. But dude, I gotta say, that thing is a beast on the road and you might've got some good clips because I was kind of giving it some, dude, some throttle there. There may be some snap, crackle pops. We'll have to see the footage dude, a little bit you later. some of that? Because I can't hear nothing in there, dude, because there's so much sound deadening in oh, the yeah, thing. Oh yeah, that is very true. But I guess we'll just have to review the footage but another thing is about coming out here at this time is it is the perfect Dude, like temperature right now. As you can tell, the sun is setting. It looks really nice, but it also cooled down a lot. And dude, I'm just happy to be inside a paint booth because it's just gonna make this whole process smoother and it's gonna make the paint smoother as well. No bugs. No bugs, man. You ain't gotta worry about no <laughs> bugs. But anyways, let's just go ahead, hop in there, mix up our paint, wax and grease remove everything and throw our first coat of base.
All right, so we finally got everything painted and everything went nice and smooth. The base coat, the clear coat, and also, as you can tell, there's still daylights outside. So we knocked that out fairly quick. Didn't take much time at all. But that's just the good thing about going to a paint booth. You just get stuff knocked out. But as of right now, we're just gonna have to take a closer look tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day. And as you can tell, we got this hood slicked in with two coats of clear. And dude, that looks flawless Dang, in here. Not a single piece of trash. Do you see a piece of trash I in here? I don't really see nothing, dude. That's the good thing about painting in a paint booth, dude. So we're definitely gonna have to paint the whole entire car in here because, you know, it's just gonna make it a lot easier to whenever we go to buff, we don't have to buff out bugs and stuff like that. It's just gonna make the whole process a lot nicer. And heck, we may even not have to buff you if it that turns would, out like this. That would be amazing. But you did reserve the paint booth for tomorrow right yep. tomorrow which is that's the only day the booth is available so that's pretty crazy because today we're gonna have to try to get this thing completely wet sanded probably as soon as this video is done we're gonna jump back on the supra and just hopefully get in the paint booth and spray it in dude, dude we gotta move but i think we'll make it yeah but other than that everything turned out really nice it's uh, almost dry right you think we could transport it yeah, i think we'll be be able to actually throw it back into that box that we brought it in and just take it home shouldn't be a big issue and as for the fender we just sprayed the top part in this edge right here because the rest of it will get painted on the car Later. so we're Heck good yeah is there any metallics in this there is actually a bunch of metallics yeah, there in is here. but you probably won't be and let's let's put it in the light right here let's see if we can see the metallics dude it's gonna look so so good in the sun let me see if i can pick that up barely just Ooh. gotta put it out in the sun <laughs> that's that nocturnal black dude yep. i think it's a really good looking color but i guess as of right now we're gonna probably load everything up right yeah let's go ahead and load everything up and head back to the house Alrighty guys, so we are finally back at the house and we got the original fender here and we we're just putting it up to this, what we painted, just to see how well it matches up. And I gotta say, dude, that is probably spot on right there. So that's a really good thing. That's gonna make the painting and the blending go a lot smoother as well. But as of right now, we're gonna set this stuff aside, let it cure, let it bake in the sun. And we're gonna hop back on the Supra and continue ripping those doors apart. Alright, so we finally got both doors completely torn apart and it was pretty dang simple for the most part. However, we did have to research a few things, but surprisingly there is some YouTube videos up there. And as for this door handle, super easy, just one bolt and it popped right off. As for this fake vent, a bunch of clips and some 3M, we might have broke a clip or two, but I think that's just a BMW thing. This right here, the mirror just popped right off, unscrewing three bolts, and we removed all the trim. So we are basically ready to wet sand this whole entire front clip. And the way that we're actually gonna paint is pretty much just blend on a little bit to this door, a little bit onto this fender. Same exact thing on that side, but I think it should be a pretty simple process, but I guess that's just gonna have to be in the next video. So with that being said, that is gonna be a wrap for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this super build. It's gonna be pretty epic when we're done with it. So make sure your guys' post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. And you might have noticed the brand new t-shirt that we got this time in a brand new color. Got the Goon Squad logo up front and the dang sun in the back, two-tone. These are super fire and they go super quick. So if you guys want to help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and cop you one. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.